good, y'all? Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you are a new viewer, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to become part of my family here at the Boss Mama Budgets YouTube page or YouTube channel. Um, and if you are a return subscriber, you already know what it is. What's up, y'all? Um, all right, so today we are going to be condensing our sinking funds. And I'm not talking about cash because there isn't any cash in here. Um, we were keeping cash in our USA sinking funds because we were keeping them electronically. However, we just um, purchased a car, we purchased some things, and we decided to use our sinking funds for sacrifice to get out of our car loan debt and also just to pay for things that we need to do. And so our sinking funds are now completely empty. So we are completely starting over from scratch this month. But we decided because we want to be gazelle intense and we um, wanted to get rid of the rest of our debt. Getting rid of this um, auto loan that we had with our 2017 Ford Explorer gave us the motivation. Though we already had motivation, it amped our motivation up even more to get finally get rid of the last minimal debts that we have. And so with that being said, we decided to condense our sinking funds to just um, a few sinking funds, which is these. So, sorry, my thing has a glare. Hopefully y'all can see it, I'll zoom in for you guys. Um, so this is my monthly envelope tracker. Um, and if you can see, hopefully you can see a little bit. Um, our sinking funds is vehicle maintenance, insurance deductible, back to school, college, hair care, and Christmas. So we have, sorry, I had to count that. <laughs> we have six um, sinking funds that we are going to be only stuffing um, from now until we feel necessary when we are done with debt. And then we can go back to stuffing all of these beauties here. So I decided to just film this with you guys. I was gonna do it by myself, but I thought, why not um, film it with you guys? So I'm just going to be going through the envelopes and putting um, the ones that we actually are going to use in one of these and then storing the other ones away until it's needed. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. <laughs> emergency fund because our emergency fund is already um, fully funded well our starter emergency fund is already fully funded in our, um, in our high yield um, fidelity savings account so that is already done so we um, I'm going to keep this though I'm gonna keep it in here but nothing won't get stuffed though because we already have that in there so I will keep that in there um, because this one is allowance um we put dollars in here for our girls for their uh their allowance at the end of um the week so this will stay so we are going to say bye bye to all of these sinking funds uh it's sad but at the same time um we're trying to get out of debt and these are not necessities at the moment. So, and if we do need to get something, you know, that we have to purchase or it does come up, we will pay for it. 
but um, we will not be focusing on putting money monthly into these because um, they're not necessity. Um, for our girls, you guys probably did see that we um, took theirs out. We decided that we're actually going to open them up. Uh, I want to believe it's a UTMA or U UTGMA. I can't get the acronyms right, but their um, actual savings account um, for our kids. We were looking at the 529, but we did agree that if our children decide that they don't want to go to college, because that's parents. All right, y'all. So my video decided to cut off on me, um, but that's okay because I was struggling anyways to put these in here. But these are all the sinking funds that we will no longer be stuffing for the time being. So this will go away into our file cabinet until we are ready to stuff these bad boys again. So this goes to the side. And then these are the ones that we'll actually be using or stuffing. So this one we won't be stuffing, like I said, the summer fund. This one actually already has um, money inside of it. Um, placeholders pretty much. Um, we do have 2,500 in our uh, Fidelity savings account, like I did say. So one, 2,000, one, two, three, four, five. So 2,500 in here. And then put this bad boy back in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And then I do have my tracker in here as well that it's up to date. So we're gonna put this in the back because that one will not get stuffed unless we feel necessary. But to be honest, we won't do it because we already reached our goal to fund our start emergency fund. After we finish our debt, we will be working to um, continue filling this up for three to six months worth of living expenses. So, um, but for now we're gonna do this six. So let's go ahead and put this in the order that I would like. Hmm. Do that. Oops. Okay. So we're going to do vehicle maintenance, college expenses, school supplies, um, beauty and self care, uh, Christmas, and allowance. I think we're missing one, y'all. We're missing hair. Pretty sure we're missing hair, apparel, hair care. That's where you are. Let's take you out. This is gonna be interesting to close again because we got a lot of sinking funds, y'all. Oh Lord, here we go. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and add hair into here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't add beauty to my my document on my iPad. That's why I'm like, why do I have an extra one? But now I know. So I put hair care in front of beauty. And these envelopes are so cute, y'all. As much as I want to buy the clear envelopes. I can't get myself to press that button to purchase because I love these envelopes. And yeah, they're super cute. So, okay. So vehicle maintenance, college expenses, school supplies. That's just gonna be for our back to school um, envelope. Hair care, beauty and self care. Christmas allowance. Again, we don't stuff this for sinking envelopes. This is just here because we put our ones in here um, when we have any ones left over from our uh, from our regular cash envelopes that we use daily. And then um, emergency fund in the back. So those are our sinking funds for the moment. Um, and I'm pretty excited that we condensed it down because we did have a lot. So. If you guys enjoyed this pretty quick video of our condensing sinking funds, um, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment. I love to interact with y'all all the time. So let me know how you feel about us condensing our sinking funds and what would you do and have you done the same? So yeah, I'll take y'all back in the next video.
Peace. It's time for me to leave here.